afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Melina Mofidi, and today I will be discussing how and why the United States of America should have a universal health care system. Healthcare has been one of the biggest political battles of the decade. It's an issue of basic human rights. Now you may be wondering what a universal health care system is. It, it means that everyone in that one country has access to health care. It also provides improved health outcomes. Now, I'm really passionate about this topic because my mother has been working in the health care area for over nine years. She currently works at the Stanford Cancer Center and has to deal with cancer patients every day. Many of those cancer patients cannot afford treatment, and this is very heartbreaking. If, those, if we had universal health care, people could afford you know, those treatments, and there could be so many more cancer survivors. Now, here's a bit of history about it. The first move towards this was launched in 1833 in Germany with the sickness insurance law. This meant that all employees had to provide low-wage workers with insurance. The funds the system was funded through sick funds, which were from employees' wages and from contributions. Other countries started to follow this, and this is how, how it has become what it is today. Now, people have died from preventable diseases because they cannot afford treatment. Many people have died from cancer because they just couldn't afford treatment. If we switch to a universal health care system, many people can afford it and there would be more survivors. Now in nursing homes, people are placed into less than adequate conditions with families forced to pay $90,000 a year. Just, because, and just, just to put their loved ones into a shared room with 30 others on a unit which is taken care of by only two aides. People lose limbs they shouldn't need to. Patients decline when they shouldn't need to. And also, an increasing number of people are not going to the doctor even when they develop terrifying symptoms such as mysterious lumps in their throat. According to a 2009 Harvard study, as many as 44,789 deaths, uh, this has resulted from a lack of health insurance. By switching to a universal health care system, we can actually lower these deaths incredibly. And I want to show you this because it's really funny. At what point was I moved from intensive care to expensive care? I think this is really funny because it's, it's really true. Healthcare has become really expensive today. And it's, it's gonna continually get to get, become more expensive. Now, we must understand that Americans need healthcare. They don't want it for their enjoyment. Accidents happen. A person shouldn't be thrown into bankruptcy just because on one unlucky day, an icicle happened to drop under their head. So, you know, we have to understand that it's really expensive and switching to universal health care can actually lower these costs. Now here's a true story. A guy was going through a swamp one day when all of a sudden a snake bit him. He ended up not going to the hospital because he was scared he would go into debt. So he stayed home and he ended up dying the next day. Imagine if he could have went to the hospital. He could have survived. But no, is this the way of life some people should have? Should people have to stay home because they're scared of going into debt? Now, switching to a universal healthcare system will provide healthcare to everyone and help save many people's lives. Now, you may be thinking of Obamacare, which provides low-wage workers with cheaper healthcare, but it still leaves nearly 30 million people uninsured, 30 million out of 323 million in the U.S. Now, looking at other countries, the practical solution is a universal healthcare system. The United States of America is the only very advanced country that does not have a universal health care system out of 50 nations. What's striking is that out of the 11 countries ahead of the U.S., 10 have achieved universal health care. And the U.S. actually spends the most on health care. It really drains your money, as you can see from the other stories I told you where the guy did not go to the hospital because he was scared he'd go to debt. Now here's some of the prices. As you can see, the United States, 9,451, compared to all the other countries. Again, here, look at the percentages. Again, comparing to all these other countries, the U.S. always spends the most, and it's gradually becoming more and more expensive. Now, overall, if we were to switch to a universal healthcare system, it would be better than what transpires in the emergency room due to the lack of people who are insured. 
Secondly, if people were to seek regular physical visits to the doctor and get treatments, the price should balance out. And also, as you can see here, the United States. Compare all of these prices to these most expensive. Now, 45 million people are still uninsured. How can we as U.S. citizens proclaim to be the leaders globally, yet discount the importance of 45 million lives? Now, many people say that switching to a universal health care system will cause the government $17 trillion in debt. But this is not true. Even though government and right now government entities spend two to three times as much per capita than most industrialized countries, switching to a universal health care system can actually bring that price down. So, as I said before, government entities spend two to three times as much per capita than most countries. All countries, but two countries, which is Switzerland and Singapore. They have achieved universal health care while spending only a fraction, I said it, a fraction of what the United States spends. Singapore spends one-fifth of what the United States does on health care, and Switzerland spends only half. So we could really save money if we switch to either of those systems. So as you can see here, these are all the countries with universal health care, and they spend almost they spend almost half as much as the USA. See how much the USA spends, and we don't have a universal health care system. But if we were, we could become like all of these countries. So I am an American citizen. I'm an American, and I'm proud to be an American. But I should deserve something, health care. We are the number one country, yet we can't provide health care to everyone else. Also, let me add in, according to the Public Health Journal, Canada, a country that provides health care to all its citizens, spends only half as much as the United States. And the United Kingdom, another country that provides health care to all its citizen, citizens, spends only 41.5 of what the U.S. spends. So, as I said before, we're the number one country in the world, yet we can't provide health care to everyone else. Again, this should not be a political battle. It's an issue of basic human rights. Everyone deserves health care. I hope that I prove that by switching to a universal healthcare system, we can save money and many lives. So let's fight for what's right. Let's switch to a universal healthcare system. When will we get these programs? Again, if we keep standing up for what's right, if we push for our rights, then hopefully soon. Thank you.